Hey there guys, it's Shaq from Shaqtik here and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can connect up your OBS um, to any kind of video conferencing tool such as Zoom, Hangouts, Teams, etc. Um, it's really simple, really easy to do, completely free. And off the bat, uh, by connecting OBS to these video platforms, you're able to use effects like how I have right now on the screen. You're allowed to organize it as much as you want. You can use a green screen like I have in my back behind me. And yeah, why not? Uh, please leave a, uh, please leave comments down below if you want to learn about more about how to use OBS. But this is more about connecting OBS to these video conferencing tools. So, so. First things first, make sure you have OBS installed. Um, just type in OBS on Google, you should search it up, you should find it quite easily. Uh, download your relevant version, it's completely free. Uh, it'll give you an installer for your relevant platform. Now, to actually connect it to uh, one of these video conferencing tools, you wanna click, you wanna search up a thing called OBS Virtual Cam. Now, I'll be leaving links down below so you could easily follow this through and click through these links. Um, but yeah, you want to get OBS Virtual Cam. It's a plugin for OBS. Um, a really good um, plugin here. Uh, all you have to do is go to downloads. Now, currently they only support Windows, which might be an issue for some people. Um, but yes, they're contacting directly to this GitHub. You may be able to put it onto your other systems. Um, but clicking this go to download will give you an EXE that you can just click through um, and it will install for you um, uh, for your OBS. And so once you've installed it, open up OBS. Now you may not see it immediately, but you should be able to click tools and see something called virtual cam. Now, if it's not there immediately when you open up OBS, you may need to restart your computer for it to uh, restart. For example, on this computer, I didn't have to, but on my work laptop, I did. So it may be depending on your environment. Cool. Now, to use Virtual Cam, you can click it. And all you need to do is um, you can click Auto Start if you're going to be using this um, quite regular, regularly these days. Um, auto Start. So every time you turn on OBS, the Virtual Cam will start up. Now, what Virtual Cam does is it creates an instance of a webcam so that it will provide an input for all these video conferencing tools. Um, so that's all good. So currently I'm running it. Um, so you can click stop. So stop will stop it as like an instance. Uh, you can put a target camera up to four different cameras uh, uh, can be targeted on this. Keep everything on default. Um, of course, if you want to put your buffered frames all the way down to zero, all it's all up to you. I've just kept this on default. So if, as soon as I click start, that means now there is an instance of my camera out and about, which is awesome, which is cool. So now it's broadcasting as an instance. So what that means is whatever scene I'm right now in an OBS, this is being projected as a virtual camera that can be picked up by these video conferencing softwares. So for example, I'll show you it in Hangouts. Now it's, again, I stress that it's pretty much exactly the same for all our platforms. I've been using Teams at work, I've used Zoom. Now Zoom has a weird one where the newest version is having some funny issues with OBS Virtual Cam. Um, in order to fix it, I'll put another link down below to the forum that gives you that answer. You gotta turn on and off a couple of options, but other than that, it is the same. So here, we'll go to Google Hangouts. Let's do a video call. And so as you can see, nothing's up at the moment. Uh, what you want to do is you want to go to your settings. So again, I'm telling you in all your video conferencing tools, you have these settings. You're allowed to give in a video input, a microphone input, etc., etc. Now you notice how this camera isn't being picked up, but now we have a thing called OBS camera in our list. Now that is the virtual camera that we've set up in our um, OBS and it is exactly pushing our scene. And as soon as I click that, you can see that it came up. Click done and boom, you're using your OBS camera now in your video conferencing tool of your choice. Um, and yeah, that's simply that that easy. No money needed, no extra gig or anything, quite painless. And you're good to go. Now, uh, some troubleshooting tips is if you do see this, the OBS camera is not in here immediately. Uh, again, you may need to restart your computer um, for it to come up. Uh, there for the first this at least for the first time you're trying to do this uh, this was the case in my work laptop but on this computer again it, I didn't have to restart so again depends on your system as set up but it should work off the bat after that so yeah thank you very much for watching um, if you have any more questions if you want to learn a bit more about how to use OBS um, within your like put some effects use the green screen etc please let me know down below but other than that hope everyone's staying safe uh, these days, uh, stay home, 
uh, stay safe. And as always, eyeball one. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. <laughs>